following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. You know, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Run Emily. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Well, hey there. Good morning. I'm Paige Clark, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle. This is where we explore a return to a more balanced, natural wild world to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms and i'm nico dehan and um i'm telling you what it's a beautiful day 68 degrees i think you said 67 and, oh 67 gosh sorry thanks for <laughs> you were way off <laughs> <laughs> in downtown clearwater and uh, so if you have any questions like to contribute to our show give us a call at 877-927-6648 or you can email me at page at tfnn.com or nico at tfnn.com and of course uh, we like you to remind you to please pick up our health signals newsletter got a great one out now and working on the other one so uh keep up with all the stuff we're talking news about news you can show. use That's folks right. so and please pick up our primal edge uh one shot wonder it's over 310 organic cell ready ingredients all powered by folic and humic acid to let the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. That's, That's right. nature's preferred delivery system uh, coming from our ancient soil beds. So speaking of uh, soil beds <coughs> and food and that kind of a thing, um, we are spring is spring has sprung at least here pretty much. We've got pollen everywhere. We sure do. Yeah, uh, it might be a little cooler than than usual, but mm -hmm. um, I wanted to share this article that um, I found that was seven secret spring superfoods oh. that you've probably never tried, and honestly, I haven't tried many of them. Oh, really? How about you? I don't uh, know. I've tried a lot of these, actually. Okay, well, yeah. that's good, and so, but I think a lot of us, we we really don't realize that we're surrounded by a, a natural seasonal food bowl. Our sure. Nature's giving us clues. And really, to be primal, we need to pay attention to what nature's serving up. I agree. You know? We have to eat local and eat what's in season. Yeah, and if you go to the uh, corner uh, grocery store, you may not find any of these there. The grocery store is a smorgasbord of things shipped from all over the world because we yeah. have global food service. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. And that's not what we're looking for. Really. But our bodies are run by a circadian clock, <clears throat> and we're looking, and the body is looking for clues in nature as to what we should be eating. Uh, what we could be eating is really what we should be eating. And uh, so this spring, consider adding some of these superfoods we were going to share with you, which uh, many of which you may never have heard of, um, such as the morel mushroom, the fiddlehead fern, uh, Chiamoya, sorrel, stinging nettles, purslane, and wild leeks. And uncoiled ostrich ferns. Oh, there you go. Uh, the reminiscence of asparag asparagus. But well, yeah, that's actually the fiddlehead. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's, people use the, the fiddlehead as a ornamental, but didn't realize it was actually a good food. You know, most well, a lot of them. Of or ornamentals are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and people don't realize it. Most of these are only available for a short amount of time. And now that spring is coming is the time that on one of your walks, you might start looking down a little bit and see what uh, nature is letting peek through the ground. Well, it's interesting because in the springtime, you don't think of a lot of things. I mean, you, we think of apples and oranges and all these things at different times of the year. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of too many things that appear in the spring, but here we are. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. And probably nature has a reason why they're presenting these instead of the fall ones. Exactly. I really do believe. We know that many of the starchy <coughs> foods, for example, that are available in the fall are meant to 
create sustenance and stick to itness, you know, give a heavier feeling. Right. Where we're having a little lighter, more bitter herbs in the spring, mm -hmm. kind of detox, get rid of. That's what I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of detox because now we're coming out of a kind of funk because we've been inside in the in the sheltered areas because it's been cold outside. So now spring is around the corner, and all of a sudden now we the sunshine is back and we're going ah this feels so great. Mm -hmm. And so now eating some of these things that will continue that process process that the sun is doing of detoxing you, that's exactly what we need. And we find these forms in plant food mostly. Now listen to this, guys, because eating locally grown <coughs> foods provides you with a bounty of benefits, you know, not only from fresher foods, but it saves you money too. And there's a study in 2007 from the University of Alberta, Canada determined that transportation alone of organic produce actually caused an environmental impact large enough to cancel out many of its very and benefits. benefits. Yeah, and that's uh, a lot of this is caused uh, be by early pickings, we might say, because mm -hmm. uh, we we're going to ship this across the country for a week or across the world for a week or two. So we need to pluck these things early so they're not quite ripe. And the process of the transportation isn't what nature intended us. So that last week or so where the plant's developing certain things to help us, they're not allowed to because now they're kind of in stasis and they've already been picked. And that's the real question is what's in season for your locale? Many of us just don't know anymore what is in season because as, you, as we mentioned, the grocery store has these fruits from Mexico and these from Argentina and these from, you know, wherever, someplace else in the tropics and we're not necessarily even aware of what is available. It's called a circadian mismatch. Yeah, As Jack Cruz says, you know, eating yeah. a banana in Boston just doesn't in go. In the wintertime, right, especially. Right, in the yeah. wintertime. And uh, the other thing I think of, I think of Joni Mitchell saying, you know, we uh, tear down nature and put up a parking lot. So we're not wor walking through that nature path where things start to bloom. We're actually walking along concrete, and maybe we have a few ornamentals here and there, but it's not what nature intended us to, so we don't connect with it, and we don't think of these things. I see that Matt from Vail, who is no longer from Vail, I don't think, is saying that he's loving the St. Pete Saturday Farmer's Market. Isn't uh -huh. it great, Matt? It's, a, it's super. It's actually rather renowned in all of the southeast. It's a great place to go, and uh, the veggies have been awesome. Yes, indeed. And so I'm glad to see that you're here, so we have to catch up. Yeah, that's for sure. We'll yes. have lunch sometime, uh, mm -hmm. Matt. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about it because eating local actually just means eating what's in season or I'm sh saying should mean that. And this spring, take the time to consider adding some of these following superfoods, many of which you may not have heard of, but you can seek them out and they're only available for a short amount of time and now is the time to start looking for them. You know, let me just digress yeah. for one minute because, you know, we go to Austria and I have a particular favorite time to go to Austria. You know when that is? Springtime? No, it's September. September, fall. September, and I'll tell you why. It's because they have this mushroom that's only available for like three uh. weeks. I don't know. I don't know if I say it right, <laughs> but but it's, um, it's delicious. And I figure that's exactly what happens. These mushrooms are coming as like a uh, a food that nature's providing to provide those great vitamin D synergists, mm -hmm. which we know come from mushrooms. And there's another thing I think of, uh, and we're coming up on a break, but just quickly is, uh, of course, animals are different in different seasons. So we think of plant food most of the time when we think about seasonal growth. But remember, the animals are fatter in the fall, they're skinnier, they have different hormones going on in different seasons too. So this also does apply to animal food in a way. Absolutely. Let's take our clues from nature. So uh, take a break here and we'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic 
stomach acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. you'll find that most of the organic fruits and vegetables that are in your grocery store come from much farther away than your conventional produce. Mm -hmm. A lot of them travel 1,500, 2,000 miles on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not good for the fruits. It's not seasonal anymore to you. It's certainly not local. So even organic stuff cannot be uh, in that loop of being so really great for you if they're not uh, locally grown. So the types of things that you can find locally grown would be going to those markets that uh, Matt was talking about, the Saturday farmer's market, the mm -hmm. Wednesday farmer's market here in Clearwater. This is where you get some of those stuff. So let's go over some of these superfoods that are available in the spring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got first the morel mushroom. You might be able to see that up on the telestrator. kind of looks like a loofah pad. It really does, yeah. Uh, it's, kind of, it's truly a mushroom that's packed with immune-boosting, disease-preventing vitamin D. So it's kind of like a last boost. Might come out a lot right here in the spring when the weather gets warm, but then you have another cold snap and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff goes on. That's, you know, we want to be careful when we're picking mushrooms in the wild. You might get a, a one that helps you with psychedelic powers. <laughs> yeah, but, this uh, is one of the first things that my dad took me out in the woods to see was mushrooms and pointing out the ones with the spots on them. Well, maybe that story of, you know, hands on Gretel and everything is kind of like, oh, be careful, these might be not good yeah. for you. But maybe there actually are, some of them are good for us. Now, you have a little story about the mushrooms with the white spots, the red mushrooms. Yes. I'd like you to, because this is a real interesting story, because what my dad told me, those are the ones you don't eat. All right, so let's do this. That's very interesting. So when we go to the next break, let me, let's you and I see if we can just pull the video up. I'd like to share it with people to see this guy explains it. Okay. And then, and then, then, then we can go through these foods okay, and maybe, we, maybe you and I can show the video just so people get a visual of it. We won't show the video, but we'll, we'll, um, well, let, so that they'll be able to find it easily on YouTube. It's really rather mind-blowing, okay. I think, Sounds for a good. lot of people don't know. So 
Yes, we'll come back to the history of the Amiskara mushroom. So many of the health benefits have been in, uh, attributed to the polysaccharides, mm -hmm. along with a number of phytochemicals, uh, primarily uh, phenicol. The phenolic compounds. Phenolic compounds. Mm -hmm. The tocopherols and the ascorbic acid and vitamin D, and ascorbic vitamin acid B and the vitamin C. So yeah, many, you know, many people like mushrooms on the side dish or on their own, but know they're there for a reason. Second mm -hmm. is the fiddlehead fern. And the fiddlehead fern, uh, you've probably heard of them, or maybe you haven't, unless you're a frequent visitor to farmer's markets and specialty health food stores. As the name implies, the small curly discs are picked from immature, uncoiled ostrich ferns. And the taste has been likened to that of asparagus, but with a bit more crunch and bitterness. Others say they, they taste like a mix of asparagus, spinach, and broccoli all in one. I, I am going to look for those. I would really These like to have These are really some high in antioxidants, twice the amount of blueberries there and a plant-based omega-3. So, uh, and those omega-3s a lot of times are really accessible to us in, in this form in the spring. So it's a potent anti-inflammatory too and contains vitamins A and C which are important for healthy vision and immune function. We, you, you don't usually find them much. Uh, they're commonly picked in Maine and Canada. Yeah, they're in Ontario and Quebec. Mm, they can be found, that's probably why you saw them as a yes. child, but can often be found in health food stores. The season is quite brief, maybe two to three weeks at most. So if you see them at, say, your fresh market or something, go ahead and grab them. But and you've got to saute them, it says, because uh, they might give you a little tummy ache if you eat them raw. Okay. Like asparagus. Yeah. Asparagus mm -hmm. does the same thing. Uh, a lot of these things, too, you find them in uh, a lot of health food stores have these. Uh, I know that uh, Whole Market has a section for these types of herbs. So does uh, Food uh, Fair and all these other ones. Oh, so. good. Okay, so number three is the Cherry Moya. I, can you scroll up to that? Again, I, I have I not heard of this. This heart-shaped dragon scale tropical fruit has a sweet, buttery inside with uh, select specimens that are hard and green. It's kind of, uh, as avocados, the cherry moya is ripen quickly as on the counter. Once the skin turns a bronze color and feels soft to the touch, it's ready to eat. Yeah, I've seen these. I've never had one of these. So yeah. the single fruit it contains approximately 60% of the daily recommended dose of vitamin C. Why, that's a huge amount. In Mexico, and, uh, it's known for being used to ease anxiety. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, a lot of these countries have these little things that, like this that uh, appear. And, and they're uh, tradition. Well, they're tradition and they're medicinal. Mm -hmm. I often say the plant food is the medicinal food. This is the food that we use to heal ourselves and the medicine man uses. Yes. Well, I have to tell you, I, um, for a while I had kind of a, like a farm property and we had lychee nut trees. And the lychee is a very sweet fruit and it looks, it's kind of hard outside, like an avocado almost has some little prongs on it. But the funny thing about the lychee is when they are, your, your tree will be loaded with them and they'll be a certain color and then all of a sudden, literally overnight, they will ripen. And if you're not there to get them, the squirrels will eat every one of them. Huh. They like, can't wait till those things are done. Okay. So isn't that interesting? Uh, number four is sorrel. Sorrel is very good in salads. It's delicious. It's known as a spinach dock or narrow leaf dock. It's a perennial leaf. It's cultivated around the world and has tons of health benefits. It has a tangy lemon flavor. I love sorrel. And it does and look like spinach a little bit it too. It adds a bit of zing to just about any salad. You can grow that in your home. It's so nutritious and delicious. Yeah. The health benefits of sorrel include the, its ability to improve eyesight, slow the aging process, mm -hmm. reduce skin infections, strengthen the immune system, and improve digestion. Awesome. I love, also, so, I love sorrel. Also, it uh, builds strong bones, increases circulation, increases energy levels, help prevent cancer, lowers blood pressure, increases appetite, protects against diabetes, strengthens the heart health, and improves kidney health. This is really a powerful plant. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to grow that in your yard. Um, and so you, if you don't see it in the grocery store, get some sorrel seeds and plants and get going. Number five is stinging nettles. Many of you may have heard of stinging yep. nettles, often used in tonics and herbs to help liberate dormant hormones in both males and females. Yeah, and and if they, they say if you find these in your yard, that means your soil is really good. Oh, that's great to know. Yeah. Well, uh, I go to a, um, a park when I am in Salzburg, Austria, and there's this whole field where you walk through. And... Um, 
you know, they brush against your leg and they'll, they have a little bit of a sting. They've got these little hairs on them. They have unique benefits. You know, you should have them growing in your yard. Like you mentioned, they show a sign of rich, healthy soil. Just make sure you use gloves because they can create a painful rash. Yeah, these little uh, needles actually stay in your skin. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you feel they'll it. Hook, yeah, they'll hook in there and then they'll be But once you irritant. blanch them or saute them, they can be safely consumed or made into an herbal tonic. And they provide a lot of health benefits, vitamin K and calcium. And they've been used for its blood purifying properties and can be made into a tea and helps with a lot of allergies, asthma, and hormone balance. Yeah, and they really, this is a, uh, a thing that they use for detoxification, too. They really mm -hmm. do help that, so. It uh, also is known, nettle tea is known for new mothers to help stimulate their milk production. Oh, cool. But it incre but it just helps, it's again, it's one of those pungent herbs that really kind of wake up all of our organs and glands. Uh, Purse Lane. Well, we're on a break, so let's leave uh, that for the okay. next uh, se segment yeah, here. We'll get and back we'll try to, to it. find that uh, video, too, while yeah. we're at it. Yeah, here, we'll finish so. this up and then I'll show yeah. you the little secrets about the the Amaskara mushroom, the little the traditional mushroom that we've seen in drawings and folk art. Maybe there's more to the story. Maybe there's a folk story that we all should know about. Be right back. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Hi, and welcome back. So uh, we were looking for that video. There's so many videos in here, but I really was uh, intrigued by the story you told. So here is a picture on the Telestrator of the mushroom we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell the story about this? And okay. people can look at this up. All we did was the truth about uh, Santa, Santa Claus, Claus and, the and the mushroom. magic mushroom. Yep. Any of those keywords under YouTube will bring up uh, a number of videos. You can watch them just like I did. And um, this is Amaskara. I might be saying it wrong, but mushroom. But I think we all recognize this mushroom yep. from drawings way back when we were children in a lot of folk art. And if you look back in some old art, you'll recognize this mushroom. Where does this mushroom grow? This mushroom grows underneath evergreen Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? And what we really have learned is that the story of Santa Claus is really tied to this mushroom and also the ancient shamans in Siberia because... Mm -hmm. The ancient shaman in Siberia would often not be able to get through the regular door of the of the yurts to deliver the gifts okay. of these mushrooms to the inhabitants. So they would have to, the snow was piled so high around the yurt that they would have to climb down the chimney to deliver <laughs> the gift wow. of the Amaskar mushroom. Now, the, the mushrooms were hung by the, in stockings to dry them out because they needed to be dried by the heat of the fireplace. And this is a, remember, this is the mushroom my dad told me, don't eat this one, this is poison. But well, a lot of folklore came about that told us, oh boy, watch out, these are poison mushrooms. Well, the truth is they are psychedelic mushrooms that enable our spiritual centers to open up and release DMT, which is very much... Um, uh, the hormone of childlike behavior and when we are in that state of consciousness and connection to source. Further, many, if you go back to turn of the century artwork, you'll see pictures of glass ornaments that are these mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You'll see lots of cards of people hiding underneath the mushroom. I mean, the artwork is, it'll come back to you in time. And of course, notice the color of it and the Santa Claus suit. This is, right. you know, the red it's and all white. tied in and, there. And, yeah. the, and the flying reindeer, they may actually have been flying because the reindeers love these mushrooms. Mm -hmm. they, they, they sneak, they dig for them under the snow. And uh, so it may really be an old folklore story. I think it's very interesting. Way down, you can't really see it, but if you look down on, we we'll go back, not the whole picture, you see there's a picture of the Pope being greeted, yes. and uh, the Pope is wearing a outfit that looks uncandidly like, like the mushroom. mushroom. Yeah, now, sure. we know that the Catholic Church often makes reference to, or you know, on the end of his spear or something there's a uh, pine cone and we know the pine cone makes reference to the spiritual centers of the brain so I really encourage if any of you all like to make a study of this on your own uh, you might find this very intriguing and um, and real enlightening as well so so there you go that's pretty cool the story of Santa Claus and the magic mushrooms or maybe more to it than you think yeah. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. But let's get back to our sorrel and stinging nettles. And finally, the our last one is purslane. the purslane. Purslane, it's been called duckweed, fatweed, pigweed, um, matcha young in Chinese. Uh, the only thing about it is it's an omega-3. Like parsley three. a little bit. I think purslane is actually also called the 5 o'clock flower. It looks like a miniature jade plant with fleshy, succulent leaves mm -hmm. and reddish stems. And the stems grow and it puts out a beautiful tiny yellow flower about one quarter inch in diameter. So the seeds of the purslane are extremely tough, some remaining viable in the soil for 40, 40 years. years. Wow. So it can grow almost anywhere. But a lot of people really enjoy having purslane. And um, from fertile gardens loom to the most arid, arid desert soil, even in your rock driveway, you'll see purslane popping up. Um, and a lot of omega fatty acids, uh, three. In, in this, mm -hmm. so this is a high concentration of some good fats. You know, we, when we think of fats, we think a lot of times mostly of animals and things like that. But plants do have, of course, fats. They have protein also. Mm -hmm. They just have a smaller amount. But this happens to have a really, really good amount of omega threes, which are really good. They have six times more vitamin E than spinach, seven times more beta carotene than carrots, providing about 44% of your daily uh, vitamin A.
Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it also contains vitamin C, magnesium, calcium, right. iron, vi- uh, riboflavin, potassium, phosphorus, and manganese. That's right. And then here's number seven is ramps. I don't know what a ramp is. Ramp is it's a type of wild leek, though, so it's probably going to have an odiferous uh, look at it. It has a bulb on it, very much like a spring onion or something featuring small white bulbs with mm-hmm. hairy roots. While resembling green onions in appearance, their flavor is more akin to garlic. Okay, so it's going to kind of cross over. So if you're lucky enough to find them, be sure to get some. They're excellent. They're exceedingly scarce because they're a slow grower and only in season for a few weeks in the spring. Yeah, if you notice brown spots on these or slimy areas, don't use them. So you need them really fresh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So how do you find locally grown food that's in season? Because many of you may be wondering, how do I really know what's in season? Well. That's one of the reasons we have Dr. Google, you know. We can we yep. can Google things and we can look at the resource. I suggest finding out your specific area, you know. Um, you know, put in your state, put in your geographic area, deep south, whatever. You can go uh, find a national farmer's market uh, on the USDA website. Another great source is the localharvest.org. That's correct. Uh, there's a... Uh, sustainable agricultural page that the author has uh, and uh, that's uh, local farmers is localharvest.org that's a mm-hmm. really good source but and yeah. shopping at your natural and uh, local health foods and co-ops there's many co-ops I want to encourage you to contact the Weston A. Price Foundation mm-hmm. because they have a wonderful book of uh, food lists and supplements and vendors and places that for foods that they think offer outstanding nutrition I think that's a real valuable tool. And another thing if you have a local uh, type of uh, place like we have which is uh, you know our local uh, small um, (coughs) health food store yeah (coughs) those people are really good because you can go up to them and go to the vegetable person or the meat person and ask them specific questions do you have this do you get this in the spring can you get this for me these people will actually really look for these things that you want and call you back as opposed to a large chain may not Mm -hmm. do that some Mm -hmm. of them do yeah i love that about nature's food patch our favorite uh, grocery store in this area they have like a bulletin board and if you see something or hear something you want you put it on there and then the manager will come by and make a comment on the post Mm -hmm. okay we've got it coming in Uh, we can't get it or whatever whatever the situation is so they're a great resource is getting to know the people there once they know you you're going to be a lot more friendly and they're of course going to give you advice and they want you shopping there so they're going to get what you want and what are the eight signs of high quality food anyway it's more likely you're going to get a higher quality of foods when you get local foods you know, they're grown without pesticides and chemical fertilizers, and they contain no added growth hormones, antibiotics, or other drugs. Yep. They're fresh, usually uh, within a week uh, of being picked. That's really good. They're grown uh, with the laws of nature in mind. They uh, don't use pesticides. They're not grown in factory farms, And folks. they don't irradiate at, your, at nature's food patch, too. So find out what's going on at your local place. Uh, they have lots of classes in there, too. So, uh, you know, those are really good sources for information. Yeah, support, support your local growers. They're trying to produce the best and healthiest food for you and your family. That's right. And watch out for those dangerous mushrooms. That's right. We'll We'll be be right right back. back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN FNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back to the show. You know, one of the newest buzzwords in diet is the ketogenic diet, ketosis. Hey, when we're listening to our show, we've been talking about eating uh, a healthy fat diet for quite some time. Yeah, and uh, people ask me often, are you on the paleo diet, are you on the keto diet, are the ancestral diets? These are interwoven types of diets. In my mind, they are. Yeah. And different degrees, and I think, yeah. um, I think it's a healthy diet is what it really is. But it was interesting that Newsweek magazine is starting to get in on the bandwagon of the stuff we've been sharing here, and it's, uh, it is the latest diet, darling, and a lot of celebrities are getting involved. Right. And, um, Keto diet is really a low-carb diet that emphasizes eating moderate amounts of protein, but plenty uh, full amounts of fat, such as avocados and cheese. This uh, particular article from Newsweek is just talking about the uh, avocados and cheese, but of course what we're talking about is feeding your body plenty of fat that is around normal types of products like animal food and like avocados and like cheese, like whole milk mm -hmm. unpasteurized. All these things have just about the right amount of fat into them and they help us get into what we call fat burning which is ketosis mm -hmm. and this is the natural state we believe of the human body before That's right. agriculture. That's right Nico because the thinking is with the ketogenic diet which is not new, by the way. You know, all things old become new again. Mm, and the thinking is that by eliminating carbohydrates, your body will instead burn the stored fat that many of us have in various places on our body through a process known as ketosis, which helps release that fat and using it for energy. And as I said, the keto diet, diet is not a new diet. It was actually around since the 1920s, and it was used originally as an epilepsy treatment. And it's yeah. been very successful, and to this day is still used in traditional medicine yeah. for epilepsy. And when we say it's been around for since the 1920s, we mean that it was used as a medicine in a sense. Of course, it was around way before then, because if you actually lived in the woods, you can't find much carbohydrates out there. Uh, mm -hmm. except specific times of the year when you really do need them. So this is the ancestral, this is the paleo-style diet because we're talking about burning fat just like Norga Goddess always did. That we want that big fire, 
We want that big log on there instead of feeding it paper and little twigs. We don't want to eat all the time. We want one large meal, maybe two meals, and then we're satisfied and we don't have to eat I think anymore. It's, I think it's actually much more natural. I mean, I, what I love about this diet trend is that a lot of, I call it the nonsense of people eating every hour and a half to two hours, mm -hmm. uh, that crazy diet style of, oh, you've got to keep your blood sugar. No, you you need to retrain your blood sugar, not not you know, meet the higher levels of blood sugar. But here's a doctor at the New York University Comprehensive Epilepsy Center told NBC for this Newsweek article that your body enters the catagenic state in roughly two days. That's true for a lot of people, not mm -hmm. so true for some. Right. Uh, but what in what comes will come as a relief to most dieters because the beauty of the ketogenic diet is calorie counting isn't necessary to make the plan work. So it's, it's very, uh, you know, relieving to a lot of people that need to lose weight that they don't have to be worried about their consumption because it doesn't work on that mechanism Yeah, at all. I call it uh, liberation. It, it, li mm -hmm. it, it leaves you free to do other things. And our society is really uh, focused on eating mm -hmm. a lot and a lot of times. And this is what the food companies would love you to do is just snack all the time because this is easy, cheap food to, that lasts a long time. They never have to worry about spoilage and things like that. So it's the food companies, the agricultural companies that really started us on the wrong path of eating differently. Well, that pads their wallets. Well, even before I mean, that, you look down if, the aisles, uh, you well, know? even before that, well, you know, if we were 10,000 years ago and it was the grains that we uh, had kept maybe to plant next year that we sprouted to save our lives because we didn't have any animal food. And then we say, oh, we better keep some more around and sooner or later it becomes the staple, you know, because this is the holy grail. This is what saved us. Mm -hmm. Well, it, maybe it's not that great for us, but it saved us, so it's important. That's and, a good point to make, Nico. And also, you know, I mean, if you're talking about saving some food, it's the easiest thing to save. A bag of rice, a bag of wheat, throw it in the closet. As long as it's dry in there, you don't really have to worry about it. Well, so the, and these it's, foods it's, are very high in deuterium, and we've talked about the deuterium depleted mm -hmm. water, yeah. and that's a heavy isotope of hydrogen. Yeah. And when we hold deuterium in our body, we are more we have more inflammation and more chronic disease. Lower your deuterium count. And what are the foods that are high in deuterium? Grains, starchy vegetables, and um, you know a lot of the fruits. Yeah. So they were never meant to be consumed as a regular basis, a staple, so to speak. Exactly. And and, that's you know, the unfortunately, whole the fact that we adopted them as a staple when when true food was short. Uh, may be part of the whole problem. So, so this re registered dietitian Stacy Madison says that roughly 60 to 80 percent of her diet should be composed of healthy fat. That's what we've been telling everybody for a this long time. This is what uh, the paleo is based on. This is what ancestral, uh, you're talking about the Western Price. Mm -hmm. this, they're basing their whole research and everything on the fact that we need 60-80% fat in our diet. The fat, fat phobia has gone away, guys, because like I said, although we do not need in a ketogenic diet scenario to be counting calories, it is important to be mindful of how many grams of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats you are consuming because the foods show that the keto diet works the best when it includes fewer than 20 grams of carbs per day, making it stricter than traditional low-carb diets. So that's something to consider. Many people struggle to get into ketosis because more than 20 grams of carbs, and that's very hard to stay away from. Well, remember also, if you're cutting your carbs and nodding, then a lot of people, what happens automatically is they up their protein instead of the fat. Yeah. Because you still have that in your mind, that little fat phobia. Uh, Matt from Vail, who's now in St. Pete, mm -hmm. says that I love eating just once a day. He says I'm full and it saves so much time. And money, right, Matt? And I agree with you. I'm getting more and more that I like that once, maybe twice a day. And usually in that small window of time, you, um, you really do feel much more clear-headed, I think. I, I believe that we're not exhausting ourselves with the, pa the, the stress of digestion. And it is a stress. Probably what I learned from Dr. Loomis Institute is probably the most stressful thing your body experiences is the insult of food. Yeah. Because the body says, holy cow, what's this coming down the chute? 
<laughs> is this good? Is it friend? Is it foe? What should I do? Do I need to break this down? Oh, gosh, I was going to go fix her knee, but now i got to break down this protein. You know, there's not enough of us. Come yeah. on, guys, we got to go break down this big old steak they ate, and when we were going to be working on that knee, so... Yeah, <laughs> another talks. thing that the author here says, a diet that eliminates entire food groups is a red flag to me. Uh, and that's important to remember we've been trying to eliminate one food group, and that's fat. So there's, there's the well, danger Well, there's right the there. danger that, that happened, that the, why the last 60 years have been catastrophic. Because we, we, not only did we eliminate fat, but we supplemented these because. trans fats. And we've introduced those hydro fats and those fake fats. And, and also the carbohydrates, the highly processed mm -hmm. carbohydrates. Instead of just fruits That's and vegetables, really good now point. you're doing a pasta and rice and all these other things that are highly processed. In addition, Matt says he was never full before eating five to six times a day as an athlete. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yet they have you doing that. And you, why we see so many football players having Alzheimer's and heart disease because they've become insulin resistant. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. We'll be back right after the break, folks. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. Last March, the folks at Timers Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply Simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating Investors. And going down that trail of some healthy foods, I have a good one for you. Fix your dairy allergy by consuming raw dairy. It's a super healer. This comes to us from primalrejuvenation.com. 
This is my friend Paul Hess's website. You know, all of us healers have healers that help us, and Paul Hess is one of the people that, that I work with to help me with some things that I need help with. Uh, he's got a great website. Check it out. But let's, we're going to talk about raw dairy as a super healer. Well, one of the things that you mentioned before, too, is that uh, some of the problems with the food that we have is what we do to the food. Uh, the food itself is probably uh, really good for us, but we kind of screw it up. In we our pasteurize processing. it, we homogenize yeah. it, we package it, we add other stuff to it. But, you know, there's a lot of controversy about dairy, and I'm sorry, I think dairy is a superfood. It's like liver, it's a superfood. It has nutrition that we just don't get. It However, has... some people are allergic to it. Well, so. not really. I, I, I digress. Mm. I don't think many people are allergic well, to raw know. milk. They, they've been telling everyone, I'm lactose intolerant. Well, of course you're well, lactose intolerant this. because the pasteurized milk yeah. kills the lactose. Remember the story of the Vikings coming over to uh, Newfoundland and to Labrador, and they presented their goods, which was uh, cheese and milk, to the natives. And this was not processed. This was the stuff they had. And the natives really got sick and thought they were trying to die. So the well, how do you know it was the dairy and it wasn't the diseases that the Vikings brought with them? Well, this was tied directly to. Maybe we don't know that, but uh, yeah. I, think, I think we do. There are people that are highly allergic to even raw. But what I wanted to bring out, this is one of the foods that was brought about, you know, we're talking about domestication of animals here. Right. So the reason people domesticated animals is because they were running out of the things that they were, they were normally eating. That's the only reason you come up with other foods. Mm -hmm. So this is another thing that Weston Price and uh, other good sites have said to us. Here is a food that is really good for us, but not what we're doing to it. And the okay. same with the grains and things like that. They have things on there. The grains aren't really that great for us, but there are ways to make it better. Yeah, so and, getting to this, the raw unheated dairy products, some of the most healing foods are milk, butter, cream, cheese, the whey, eating your curds and whey, kefir, <laughs> yogurt, colostrum. And they've been used for thousands of years and still are all over the world. And they've been used therapeutically since the Greek, ancient Greek, Hippocrates used uh, golden whey uh, as m much of his, um, on many of his healing fasts. You know, even American doctors 100 years ago put people on month-long raw milk fast diets in the sanitariums. Uh, these were hospitals where people were treated for a wide variety of conditions. So the raw milk cure, that's a great book too, mm -hmm. the raw milk cure. And, uh, but you got to understand, guys, that's the key word, raw, unheated, unpasteurized, unhomogenized. That's what we're looking for. What you get in your grocery store, even if it says organic, is already pasteurized. And this is heated before you buy it, and it destroys the enzymes and is some of the most allergic food, especially the milk, less so the butter. Yeah, okay, right. so the key is it is the pasteurization that makes the milk product an allergic product. Mm -hmm. So if we wanted to look at some of the causes of dairy allergies and the benefits of raw milk for health, and we're going to touch on this, and I, I do want to come back. We'll explore a little bit more about dairy as a health food because I tell you what, when I, I often will buy my raw milk and I'll put a quarter cup of orange juice I learned that from Ray Pete, mm. by the way, yeah. and some of my pink salt, because I like salt on orange juice. So I get this sort of salty creamsicle, dreamsicle mm. taste. I love it. Sounds good. But, you know, the dairy, al what causes the dairy allergies, Nico? Well, uh, one of the things is what we do to it, the pasteurization, mm -hmm. of course. But there is a casein enzyme that some people are still allergic to, mm -hmm. uh, like my wife. And uh, even if she uh, uses raw dairy, she still has a little bit of a problem, not as much of a problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, certainly uh, the casein protein can be a problem for you. So I want, yeah, I'm going to finish up a little bit more on raw dairy. We'll discuss the things I had had some people ask me in the chat room you know, to explain the A1, A2 cow scenario. We'll get you more information on that. But you can always count on us to give you more information. That's right. About Thanks for sticking around. Primal lifestyle. Bye-bye, folks. See you later.
Basil Chapman has just announced that on Tuesday, April 3rd at 6 p.m., he'll be hosting a special 90-minute webinar for all of his subscribers titled The Power of the Fourth Highest Peak, The Peak D in the Chapman Wave. During this 90-minute live webinar, Basil will be discussing how to use the fourth highest peak, the Peak D, as a heads up for either a directional reversal of consequence or a momentary pit stop for further gains in the Chapman Wave. He'll also be going over what the weekly and monthly implications are for the key indices with their peak Ds and even peak Es, together with the H pattern in the Chapman Wave that he's been following for weeks with his subscribers. Now is a perfect time to sign up for Basil's daily trading service, The Opening Call, while gaining access to the April 3rd live online webinar. Remember, all new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. For all the details and to sign up today for Basil's opening call, visit the front page of TFNN.com.